I am now going to show you how to insert a picture in Excel and how to make your rows bigger so that the picture fits. If you need to make a row bigger, let's say we have to make row 1 a 1 or row 1 we have to make bigger. If you put your mouse on the line between the 1 and the 2, you will see there's an up and down arrow. If you click and hold your mouse in, you will see the height there as well as the pixels. Now your instruction might say you have to change it to 109 pixels. So you click, you hold it in and you drag it down until you can see your pixels is 109 or 110. If you can't get it on exactly 109, 108 or 110 will also be fine. When you insert a picture, it's exactly what you have to do. You insert a picture. You do not copy and paste a picture in Excel. So, insert pictures. Your pictures will most probably be on the desktop. So, you go to desktop, your student file folder, double click to open it. And there's the picture we're going to insert. So, you click on your picture and you say insert. Your picture will most probably insert not in the correct position. When you work with pictures, when you see the four arrows, that is when you can move the picture. When you see an up and down arrow, let me just make it bigger again, so hopefully you can see better. When you see an up and down arrow is when you make it bigger or smaller. Four arrows, move, up and down arrow, bigger or smaller. The instruction says we must put the picture from A1 to D1. So I put my picture in A1 and I make it bigger. Let's make it up to E1 so that it fits in row 1 from A to E. Remember, insert picture. You do not copy and paste a picture in Excel. You insert a picture. To make my row bigger, I put my mouse. If I have to make row 2 bigger, I put it on the line under the 2. If I have to make row 3 bigger, I put it under the line, on the line under 3. Until I see up and down arrow, click. There's the size of it that it is at the moment. When I drag it down, I make it bigger. When I pull it up, I make it smaller. That is how you insert a picture in Excel and make your rows bigger or smaller. Now please remember from the previous levels your normal formulas to calculate how does a formula start equal sign bracket and then you do your formula. So if I want to add it will be click on the cell plus sorry click on the cell plus the next cell, close the bracket, enter. If I want to minus equal sign, bracket, click on the cell, minus, click on the cell, close the bracket, enter. If I need to work out the average, so it's equal sign, average, and then bracket, then I highlight, the range I want the average from and close the bracket. If I want to do minimum equal sign min, if I want to do maximum equal sign max bracket and I highlight the range that I want the maximum of, close the bracket, enter equal sign average I highlight the range that I want, the average of, close the bracket, enter equal sign max for the maximum. I highlight the range, I close my bracket, enter. Those are simple formulas that you had to do in level 
2 and 3. So those are still applicable in level 4 if they do ask you to work out formulas in your Excel spreadsheet.